Hey, what's up, buddy? Good morning. Did you go outside? Yeah, a little bit. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. Okay, here's a weird test. Okay, we got the, the microbes are flying around a little bit, but watch. I'm going to squirt some water, and uh, this is micro uh, projection. And this is a spray bottle. Ta da! Now we're going to shoot him behind it. There's an orb back there. One just went by. Look at that. Okay, that wasn't this, but the, yeah, see, they're getting excited. Anyway, yeah, see the ones that fall in front of it like that? But no, this gravity is just, you know, they're all being treated the same way just about. And uh, now I'm going to see if I, it's a nice mess. Come here, buddy. Ooh, did you see that one? Yeah, he went right through it. Okay. So now I'm going to do a little bit of dust here with tobacco. Utah micro rocks. Hope I can do this. Hey, you guys calm down. Don't screw up my test. Stop it. And no blinking. Oh, where is it? There it is. There it is. Oh, that was a good one. But notice it falls just like the dust. Gravity's kicking in. The lighter ones are being blown away. Okay. That, that, I like that look though. That's cool. Anyway, that's enough of that. Doesn't look that. I didn't make that big of a mess. Anyway, tonight I cooked some bacon, and uh, there was only like a quarter of them come out for bacon. For steak, uh, a little better than half, but for hamburger, we're talking maybe 100%. And I'm just talking hundreds of these orbs. You've seen them, and we know that there are microscopic creatures in the air because what? Because of the ones that I captured in the sunbeam. And uh, so, uh, when we're in the house and it's at night, at low lighting, they appear to be orbs. And uh, so, uh, that concludes uh, this test. Okay, here's the idea. I'm projecting and reflecting into the camera's eye, and you can see it over there being projected. But it's, it's small, right? Now, when these microbes, do you realize they come up within a quarter of an inch to an inch of the camera of the eye? And the closer they are, the bigger they appear. I remember on Ghost Adventures, and here we go, I blew it up to show you how it looks. And uh, anyway, on Ghost Adventure, I noticed that, uh, that the ghost was up against the wall. If, if there was a corner, it stuck to it. And uh, I found that unusual. And here is a projection here. This is very strange, almost like a EVP. Here are the microbes in a sunbeam, and you can see that they are uh, snakes, serpents, uh, vipers. I love that word. That's out of their New Testament. And so anyway, uh, if, if, if a person were to see a ghost, in other words, this micro would be right up against his eye, and it would be projecting out in front of him and it would appear to be very big this here here's a micro now watch how small it will get i believe that it gets so small that we cannot see it or it does go into an invisible state and shifts over and comes out that's him right there it gets very big he came very close to the camera's eye in which i think it was like less than a foot away and that is on the bed bed rail under my bed here's another projection it looks big you can see the fence for scale but it was right up against the camera's eye uh this here is a camera out of focus. I downloaded the new camera. I didn't go in there and adjust the focus. And uh, that was a moth. And uh, it looked like a screaming rod. Here we go. But you can see you have two bodies here telling me what? It was out of focus. 
I thought, wow, oh, but no, I was wrong. And so anyway, uh, we're talking about micro projection and that they are actually very tiny. And this proves that. And that's why I'm trying to explain to you. Here we go here. This is what it looks like tonight. After I cooked like eight slices of bacon, I had BLTs. And uh, the next orb after this, oh, whoa, we're done. Good night. Subscribe.